Mia Tyndall holds hands with Prince Louis as they join Prince George and Princess Charlotte at Sandringham Church service on Christmas Day. Prince Louis sweetly held hands with his second cousin Mia Tyndall, nine, as he joined the rest of the royal family at Sandringham on Christmas Day. Little Louis, 5, was joined by Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, as well as the Prince and Princess of Wales at Sandringham for Christmas. Mia's sister Lena, 5, walked behind the Wales holding hands with her parents Zara and Mike. Her younger brother Lucas, 2, stayed at home. Holding hands with her mother, Princess Charlotte looked festive in a bottle green coat with her hair tied back into plates. Meanwhile, George, walking solo, appeared very grown up in a smart suit. Louis meanwhile held hands with both Prince William and Mia Tyndall, the daughter of William's cousin Zara. Adorable Prince Louis, who often steals the limelight with his cheeky displays, took part in his first ever Christmas Day walkabout last year. Today, he opted for tweed trousers and a navy coat. Joining the king and queen was the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Zara and Mike Tyndall and Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stayed in California. The Princess of Wales beamed with happiness as she walked to the service alongside her husband, ahead of the other members of the royal family. She looked elegant in her festive get-up as she waved to the well-wishers who have traveled to Norfolk today. Hundreds of well-wishers have been queuing since the early hours to catch a glimpse of the royals, and waved excitedly as the king and queen consort made their way to the church. Prince Harry has remained in the U.S. with Meghan and their two children Archie and Lilibet, despite recent hopes of a thaw in relations between King Charles and his youngest son. The royal festivities usually start when everyone arrives on Christmas Eve. The family open presents, some of which are gag gifts, one of the royal family's traditions. The family then attend services at St. Mary Magdalene Church on Christmas morning. Once they get home Christmas lunch is served, followed by afternoon games. Last Christmas the royals experienced their biggest change for decades as they celebrated their first festive period without Queen Elizabeth II, who had passed away just a few months earlier. 